Waiters what Valentine Day disasters have you witnessed? I saw a couple have a full-blown argument in the middle of the restaurant. The woman stood up, took her ring off, threw it at him and walked out. The man continued his meal, had dessert and then paid the bill, left a pretty big tip for the inconvenience and left. Next story. Two failed marriage proposals on the same Valentine's Day. The first one simply said no I can't do this, and walked out. The second one stared like a deer frozen in the headlights for an excruciating 30 seconds before muttering let's talk about this later. They stayed for the rest of their six-course V-Day special dinner, eating and making painful small talk. Next story. I am a bartender but happen to be the one on the date for this particular disaster. So anyone in the service industry knows, you generally just do not make plans on certain holidays because you will have to work, no matter what. I had not had a date on Valentine's in probably seven years, so when my boss gave me the day off I was surprised and posted something dumb on Insta about it. I got a DM from a girl I knew but not very well, asking me out for Valentine's and she was way cute so I figured why the F not. Things went so wrong, so quickly. We get to the restaurant, grab a drink in the bar while we wait on our table, took a shot to get the social lubricant flowing since we don't really know each other very well. I pay our bar tab, and we move to the table. To set the scene a bit, this place is a really nice steakhouse and they have these dark red, diamond pattern booths that are fluffy, with buttons at each point of the pattern. Hard to explain. The moment we sit down, my date lets out a blood-curdling scream like she had just been stabbed. She grabs her arm and her hand comes away covered in blood, and she looks so confused and I have no idea what the F just happened. I look around thinking someone just stabbed her but everyone around us is seated just staring over at us. I move over to her side of the booth and grab the napkins off the table to find where she is cut. The entire back of her upper arm is sliced from elbow to shoulder. One of the buttons had broken off of the wall and the snapped metal fastener was exposed so when she sat down her arm ran all the way down along it. She is panicking, I am trying to stop the bleeding, while the people around us figure out what is going on and call 911 for us. The manager comes over and is immediately a defensive butthole until he sees that it was his booth that did the damage. The paramedics show up, I get the owner's info from the manager, and we spend the night in the ER where she needed something like 80 stitches. We both are exhausted at this point, when a guy walks in with flowers, champagne and a bag of takeout food from the restaurant we had left. It was the owner of the restaurant coming to make sure we could have the Valentine's meal we had missed out on. Sure it was probably because he was afraid to get sued but it was still really welcomed after how crappy the night had become, so quickly. She and I ended up dating for almost three years and became good friends with the owner. Such good friends she ended up banging him and that was the last I heard from either of them. Woo, Valentine's. I have stuck to working those nights ever since. The end. Next story. Not really a disaster but this guy came in and said he was waiting for his date, he stayed for 5 hours waiting and she never showed, he eventually ordered for for himself and asked that I remove the other glass of water from the table, he said it was their first date. Next story. A 16 year old boy proposed to a 15 year old girl with a cheap ring and the whipped cream of her dessert. She said yes. Next story. I was working as a waitress in a sushi restaurant and Valentine's Day was an all hands on deck shift, this guy I had just started seeing wanted to go out. But I told him that working in food service, you never get Valentine's Day off and we just have to celebrate the day after or the weekend after. Nope. He got so upset that he went and asked a different girl out, came to the restaurant I worked at on V-Day and sat in my section. He then proceeded to spend the entire evening making a fool out of himself and making his date uncomfortable as he tried to make me jealous. Needless to say we didn't go out again. Ever. Next story. Saw a couple have a full-on argument at a restaurant. I wasn't their server but the table was directly in the center of the restaurant and they were certainly loud enough for everyone to hear. My manager kindly asked them to leave and the guy's response was to yell I've been wanting to do that crap for two years now and stormed out. Next story. It was like a movie. I was bartending at an Italian restaurant, not a fancy one, but still, and it's pretty much full of Valentine's dates. A guy walks in and sits at the bar by himself, looking pretty down. He asked for a whiskey, so I poured it, told him it was on the house because he looked like he needed it. He proceeds to tell me his story. Next story. He had come to the city to surprise his girlfriend for Valentine's, about a 5 hours bus trip between cities, and he sure surprised her. She was in her dorm room effing one of his friends from high school. He didn't know what to do, so he just walked into the first place that sold alcohol. I spilled as much whiskey as he wanted and watched the raptors with him. Never saw him again. It's cliche, but it happened. Next story. Someone showing up for a date and you both realize about 30 minutes and she ain't coming. Drinks on me buddy. Next story. Back when I served food at one of those super touristy seafood restaurants, I worked a Valentine's Day double shift. For lunch, this younger couple came in celebrating their one-year anniversary. I offer my congratulations and proceed to do my usual spiel before taking orders. The girl is looking more and more dismayed the longer I talk. Finally I get to the end and ask if there are any allergies. She looks directly at her boyfriend and states, yes I'm allergic to fish and shellfish. Then looks over at me very sad. I made sure every aspect of her meal was fine for her. But it was that look of we've been dating a year and he still takes me to a restaurant that could kill me that really did it for me. Next story. Happened to my poor co-worker. A guy and his date came in for Valentine's Day. They had a great time, ate a lot of food, 
drank a lot of wine, and got along really well with my coworker who was their server. About two months later they come back in and request my coworker again, who happily says yes to serving them. He goes up and greets them, the guy introduces his wife to him, and my coworker mentions something about how much he enjoyed serving them on Valentine's Day. They go quiet. Wife gets up and leaves, guy just lowers his head. Turns out he had brought his mistress in on Valentine's Day, but my coworker didn't realize he was with a different woman this time around so didn't think anything of it. We never saw the guy again. Next story. Not really much of a disaster, but last year my work called me up, hey buddy, we know you're single, can you come in as an extra shift tonight? Next story. He proposed, she said no. He cried and tried to change her mind for 20 minutes while she sat there stony faced. She finally got up and walked out. He paid and left in tears. Next story. Bus boy on Las Vegas strip. An attempted proposal. Dude tries to set up sign with GF's friends for her to show up and see the ring near a fountain. Duck stole the ring, they found it two hours later as he dropped in the fountain. She still said yes. Free drinks were given. Next story. Was a server at a popular seafood chain that isn't very fancy but when you live in a town like the one I worked in, that sort of place is the nicest place to go for Valentine's Day. Well, the night was incredibly busy when a couple came in. They were upset after waiting 45 minutes for a table, and they were complaining quite a lot. The woman was decked out in a super nice dress and faux fur coat that was actually very realistic. Well, she was sat and served her frozen drink. She goes to lift the glass to her mouth, and inexplicably, the bottom of the cup simply breaks and the drink is spilled all over her dress and nice coat. Was unfortunate. Edit, to everyone asking about the restaurant, yes it's the place y'all think it is Red Lobster is a wild place. Next story. Younger couple came in for what I can only assume was a first date. Ordered a pizza but never ate, caught up in conversation I guess? Guy must have been feeling confident BC about 2 hours and he gets up, goes to the bathroom, and then decides to sit next to her in the booth rather than across from her where he was before. I swear to you she then got up and used the restroom about 10 minutes later, and when she came back, decided it would best if they didn't sit next to each other and sat in his original place. Please refrain from doing this. Edit, feels like I've answered a thousand times so here, no there's, in my eyes, nothing wrong with sitting next to your date rather than across. I realize that as long as you're comfortable with it you can do whatever, who cares what people think. The awkward part is that he moved next to her and she decided to move to the different side in response. Long story short, please don't make me watch an unnecessary awkward situation. You can always, maybe, ask if it's cool if you move next to them before you do it.